Hello and welcome to the third episode of my Rainbow Six Siege Operator Guide. In this episode, we'll be covering our second female operator, Monica Weiss, aka IQ. IQ is an attacking operator working for the German GSG-9 unit. And she is a lightweight but a fast moving operator. Great for getting to the objective faster and showing her friends she is not there just for her beauty. I'm not going over there, I swear. Her special gadget is a Red Knight 3 Spectre, or simply referred to as a handheld electronic detector, which is used for detecting electrical devices such as traps, jammers, etc. IQ is also a good starting up with mainly because of her weapons and her gadgets, but she is great for experienced players. IQ can counter many operators, but the main ones marked in red are Pulse's heartbeat sensor and Valkyrie's black eye cameras. Speaking of Pulse, IQ can only detect Pulse if he is using his heartbeat sensor, kinda like a reverse war hack, except Pulse has to wait for a ping while IQ sees in real time. IQ should be used as a supportive character, letting your team know that there is a trap in that section of the doorway and knowing that there is a camera hidden somewhere near. But if you want, you can make her a powerhouse because of her weapons. Her weapons are damn good. Her first one is the Steyr RG2. The RG is an Austrian bullpup design weapon, which means the magazine is behind the trigger, making the weapon smaller, more accurate, and more importantly, more lighter. It is made by the Steyr Manischer and the weapon fires the 5.56 by 45mm NATO, the standard issue cartridge developed by Eugene Stoner. In game, the ARG deals 41 damage and can take up to 5 shots to kill. The ARG has an average rate of fire of 770 rounds per minute. And it also has an integrated foregrip, making the recoil moderate and controllable. Magazine capacity is the standard 30 rounds, plus one in the chamber. Since the weapon has an average rate of fire, the AUG only has an automatic fire mode enabled, which means if you lack of a shot, then you're out of luck. The reload takes 123 for a tactical and 220 for an empty reload. Attachments are listed. The second primary is the SG-552 Commando. The SG-552 is the compact carbine variant of the SIG-550 and it is made by the Schweizerische Industrie Gesellschaft. Like the AUG, it also fires a 5.56x45mm NATO. And in game, the SG does 47 damage and can take up to 5 shots to kill. The 552 has slightly below average rate of fire of 690 watts per minute, but it's good enough to get the job done. Also, I would recommend to practice with this weapon. Even though the recoil is moderate and can be controllable, the side by side recoil makes the weapon difficult to use for longer range engagements. So I would recommend to practice with this weapon or just tap fire with it. Magazine capacity is dirty and each mag takes 189 for a tactical and 207 for an empty reload. Attachments are listed. Her final primary is the G8A1 light machine gun. It is based on the real life HNK21 or Hecker und Koch 21, which is also based on the G3 battle rifle, just modified for the light machine gun wall. It fires the 760 by 51 mm or 308 as it's more commonly called, the exact same one as the G3 battle rifle. In game, the HK21 does 37 damage and can take up to 8 shots to kill, 
which is very low for a machine gun and doesn't make any sense since the 7.62 is a bigger bullet than the 5.56. To comprehend this, the HK-21 has quite a fast fire rate of 850 rounds per minute and the capacity is 50 rounds. The difference between IQ's HK-21 and Fuse's PKB is that the HK-21 is magazine fed instead of belt fed, which means reloads are faster taking around 2.11 for a tactical and a slow pace 3.13 for an empty reload. Also, it's worth to note that if you want to use this weapon, make sure to practice with this weapon a lot, as the recoil of this weapon is high and the light York only has automatic fire available. So forget about long range engagements unless you die good with a shot. Attachments are listed. IQ secondary and only secondary is a decent one. The only secondary the GSG-9 units have available in game is the P-12, which is based on the German designation of the USB Tactical and designed by Helmut Widler. It fires a 45 ACP round and in game it does 45 damage and takes up to 5 shots to kill. Magazine capacity is 15, which is good enough. While the reload takes about 184 for a tactical and 2 seconds for an empty reload. Even though the game doesn't tell you, the rate of fire of the weapon is 500 rounds per minute. But again, I've seen cases where it's up to 550 rounds per minute. So trigger finger dependent. Even though the P12 fires a large pistol caliber, the recoil is easy and manageable, but like I said in my previous two guides, you should be using pistols when you're out of ammo on your primary, as a last ditch defense, or finishing off an enemy. And finally, she carries either bridging charges or flashes. Both choices are great, but you should switch them up depending on your team and situation you are. Well, that wraps it off. IQ is overall a great upgrader and a big counter to some very powerful upgraders. Her level of importance to her team is 8 out of 10, because she has an electronic detector to detect things like traps, cameras, and etc. And she has powerful weapons like Yogg. And also, do not think you're gonna outsmart her, as she is quite intelligent to do your exams. Thank you very much for watching, comment which defending upgrader I should do next, and stay tuned for more upgrader guides as I'll be doing more in the future, so farewell. And knowing that there is a camera hidden somewhere near, there's a camera hidden somewhere near, bravo, bravo for me. But. If you want to, you can use her and that didn't come out right, damn it. But if you want, she can be used as of oh, I just did it again. I just did it again. And if you want, she can be great at God damn it. I just... And if you want, you can make her be good at oh for f sake.